I was scrolling through Reddit earlier today, and I saw this really interesting post about migrating tree frogs, and then... Wait, I'm sorry. I could be wrong here, but I think I smell smoke, and that can mean only one thing. It's time for... You burnt! Welcome to the Burn Zone, everybody. We got a lot of topics to sizzle through, but not a lot of time. Over here is the burner. Let's turn on the gas and load her up. Woo-hoo-hoo-hoo! Feed me, Seymour! First up, massages. Hey, massages, if I wanted to lie face down and listen to Enya, I'd just get clinical depression. And if I wanted a stranger to rub my shoulders, I'd sit in front of Joe Biden on Amtrak. Sideburn Joe. Sideburn. And hey, masseuses, want to know why my shoulders are so tense? Oh, I don't know. Maybe because a stranger told me to strip naked and is now prodding me while I pretend I'm not holding in 100 farts. <laughs> also, massage therapists, if you're going to insist on calling yourself a therapist, I'm going to insist on telling you about my dad and crying. <laughs> masseuses, better take those hot stones off because you burnt. Gmail auto-reply suggestions. Could you be any more off? I got an email from the New York Blood Drive saying they need donations now more than ever, and you suggested I reply, ha-ha, neat. <laughs> if you're going to give me suggestions, at least make them useful. Like when someone sends a work email at 3 a.m., you could suggest F off, Darren. <laughs> Gmail auto-reply suggestions. Here's a suggestion for you. Yeah, Bert! Hey, natural peanut butter. Do you like fun snacks? Well, just pop open a jar of this dried out nut cement topped with three inches of oil, <laughs> stick a spoon in it, and get to mixing. A natural peanut butter, why do I have to stir you myself? You're already twice as expensive as regular peanut butter. Not to mention I have to pay to replace the three spoons I bent in half in the process. And the whole thing made my shoulder tighten up so bad I had to go back to that masseuse I don't like. <laughs> Natural peanut butter, don't be jelly, but you ain't my jam, so now you burnt. Engagement rings. Who is the genius who came up with investing your nest egg into something that fits in a sink drain? And this thing is supposed to cost three months of my salary? Every kiss begins with K, but every engagement begins with some guy's bank account getting F'd in the B. Oh, he went to Jared? I'll tell you where Jared can go straight to hell. Hey, engagement rings, here's a finger for you. You burnt. Marie Kondo, oh, you want me to get rid of anything that doesn't spark joy? Well, in that case, get the hell out of my house. <laughs> Stop trying to get me to throw out my old T-shirts. I like my old T-shirts. Sure, Al Gore and Joe Lieberman aren't running for president now, but who knows what tomorrow will bring. Gore Lieberman 2020, feel the excitement. Hey, Marie Kondo, go spark yourself. You burnt. Ah, swans, look at you, strutting around, thinking you're so much better than geese. You're just hot ducks with <laughs> attitudes. Also, you're still a goddamn bird. You have a weird beak, web feet, and no arms, you freak. <laughs> also, swans, stop giving ugly kids hope that they might grow up to be hot. Aside from Jerry O'Connell, that rarely happens. <laughs> swans, go jump in the lake, you burnt! Dads and TV commercials, you can't do anything. You can't get an erection. You can't get a spot out of the carpet. Why did she marry you? Also, if you and the boys really love watching sports so much, why are you all wearing generic gear? Well, nothing better than grabbing a bag of name brand chips and rooting for my favorite team, the blue team. <laughs> Dads in commercials, you burnt. Fred from Scooby Doo, you dumb, handsome bastard. Way to show up after Velma already solved every mystery and mansplained what everyone already knows. Oh, 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 thank you, Fred. Also, can we talk about the neckerchief? You're not an Italian chef, you're just a meatball. You should pull it tighter until you can't breathe anymore and you die, bitch. Oh, geez, Seth. Yeah. Pull it back. Yeah, no, no, you're right. You're right. I took it way too far. Hey, Fred from Scooby Doo. Ruh, ruh. Up next, Young Love. Oh, that buzzer means we run out of time. Looks like we'll have to burn you innocent doe-eyed versions the next time out. This has been your burn.